Now dear student chapter number 5 laws of motion and today we have the topic problems in mechanics and some of the basic example uh, in the part of the mechanics we have given and uh, uh, some problems those are based on the concept of motion of connected bodies and these bodies are available on the frictionless pulley even on the smooth floor and the second type of the mechanics problem we have that concept of the apparent weight and the uh, movement of the lift okay so one by one i am just solving all the uh, problems along with the uh, possible derivations in front of you now i am just making the standard case that two masses m capital m and the small m are connected to each other by a inextensible in string and this string passes over a frictionless pulley and calculate uh, the acceleration of the masses and the tension in the string so we have to be assume the sum of the basics here uh, that uh, we are just assuming one of the pulley and on the pulley we have the two masses those are attached with a inextensible string okay so whenever we are just assuming the basics of this uh, that two masses are attached to a same string so every time we are just imagining the tension will be the same in each portion okay if the string is a, a, in, a, in, a in a single piece okay so the uh, always the tension will be in the uh, tension will be the same okay now uh, here we are just assuming the bigger mass that is called the m and uh, capital m and, and here we are just assuming that m greater than m so probably the system that is this is the small m okay and if the bigger mass, if the mass is mass is the uh, capital M is the heavier, so it will move uh, the system in a downward direction. Okay, and uh, this one will move in an upward direction. Okay, so here we are just assuming that suppose uh, by the mean of the acceleration, this small mass M as M is moving in an upward direction, and the uh, bigger mass M will move in a downward direction with the acceleration A okay so the acceleration will be whole system acceleration for the whole system will be the same okay now tension will be available in the string will also the same because both are attached to the same string okay so uh, here we have to be use the concept of the FBD and I am just plotting the separate FBD of the two masses now this is the small mass M is there okay so the concern of the weight is acting downward that is called the small m into g and in the result we are just this mass is attached to the string so the tension will be in an upward direction okay now this system is moving in an upward direction so easily we can apply the force load to it now what kind of the net force on the system that by the by the help of the uh, force uh, force law or the second law of motion okay now we are just assuming that net force on a system that ma is equal to that tension 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 in a more part as compared to the weight of an object so this is the part of the equation we have this is called the equation number one and the second fbd we have that is this is the capital mass m we have and we are just resolving it that mg in a vertical downward direction and resolve the tension in the string that is in a upward direction and the system is making the movement in the downward direction with the acceleration a so here just I am assuming the one of the basic equation now the net acceleration of the system that is called the MA and uh, weight uh, of the object is the quite heavier as compared to the upward tension so I am just writing that mg minus t make the total acceleration of the system so this is the equation number 2 so whenever we are just solving the equation number 1 and 2 by the mean of the ratio and the, uh, and the comparison so easily we are just getting the meaning of the acceleration and the tension now we are using the general mathematics if we are just adding the equation number 1 plus 2 to each other so we are just eliminating the t so we are just getting the meaning of the a so 1 plus 2 that is called the m a plus capital m a is equal to t minus of m g and plus of capital m g minus of t so t2 to t in cancel and i am just separating the a so it can be write easily in this manner that is g and capital M minus small m is to be divided by that is capital M plus small m okay so this is the one of the basic uh, we have uh, and the finalized unit of this uh, acceleration that is centimeter uh, sorry meter per second square 
okay if i am if you if you just applying the value okay so mass to mass cancel so the xl a is equal to will be equal to the z so this is the first portion we have that acceleration now second one that we are just making the uh, ratio of the equation number 1 and 2 so what actually we are getting as we are just making the ratio of the one equation 1 to 2 so i am just writing that m a t minus of m g is to be divided by m a and the capital m g minus of t is there so a to a will be the cancel out and we are just writing that a small m capital m g minus a small m t is equal to capital m t minus a small m capital m and the g is there and we have to be separate the meaning of the tension from this uh, equation so i am just making the simplification of this term so the tension can be stated as 2 m capital m g is to be divided by capital m plus small m okay so uh, this is the part of the tension we have okay <clears throat> so this is the derivation uh, on the, on the basis of the mechanics we have now we will discuss we want to discuss the uh, cases in which the blocks are taken on a, a smooth floor now i am assuming the one of the simple case that let assume the two blocks of the mass a small m and the capital m on the horizontal smooth floor a horizontal force of capital f is applied to one uh, towards the side of a small m and once towards the side of the capital m along the direction of the string so what is the net acceleration of the system and the tension in the each case so first we will discuss the formula that how can we arrange uh, it uh, in the part of the mechanics now this is the kind of the concept we have in front of us that we are just assuming the two masses and both are attached to a string and kept on a horiz smooth horizontal surface and uh, once we are just applying the force to the small m and once we are just applying the force to the capital m okay so what is the kind of the net acceleration to the system and uh, what is the tension in the each case so whenever just uh, we are just assuming the case number 1 as we are just applying the force on a small mass m so we are just assuming that the tension will be string along this force the tension will be string in this direction okay and uh, here we are just assuming that tension okay tension for the mass m we have this is the part of the tension we have and already we have discussed that if you are just assuming the same string and the two masses are attached so the string in the string the tension will be the same here okay so this one is the t we have and this one is also the t we have so uh, and 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 in the in the reference of the force the whole system is moving with the concept of the acceleration a is there so easily we can say that the net force on a system that is f and the total mass of the system on a uh, horizontal floor that is small m plus capital m and the net acceleration is the a and this one is applicable also this one uh, setup okay as we are just applying the capital f force to the capital m so same equation we are just using it and we are just finding the meaning of the a by the mean of the formula so a can be stated at that small m plus capital m so this is the general uh, that mean brief we have of the acceleration so for the system now we want to discuss the tension so we are just approaching the abd of the system okay so this is the abd of the small m so either you are just using the concept of the capital m is here so you will get the same answer or either you are just using the concept of the abd on the small mass m so you will get the same an answer okay so as we are just applying the capital f force is here on the small mass m and we are not we are just getting the tension you know opposite to the capital f okay and the system is moving with the concept of the acceleration there so easily we know that the net force that is called on the m a that is the part of the f minus t because magnitude of the capital f is the more compared to the tension so uh, what will be the possible meaning of the tension we have t is equal to that is called the capital f minus m into a okay somehow we have the magnitude so we can easily discuss the meaning of the tension here so this is the first part we have 
okay now as we are just applying the second method now we are just making the concept of the fbd of the capital m is here so this one is a capital m we have and we are just uh, discussing this one case in the part of the tension and this is also is moving with the concept of the acceleration here so the net force that is called the m a is to be balanced with the concept of the tension minus and the another uh, another force that is uh, there is a no kind of the force we have in the reference of the t so easily we are just writing that t is equal to capital m into a so either using you are using the t is equal to capital m into a or either you are using the concept of the t uh, f minus uh, uh, m a or both both the formula will give the same answer to you okay and we will discuss one of the problem all the this is uh, which is based on this concept okay. okay now we are just using the concept so first we have to be discuss the meaning of the tension in the string so one of the tension will uh, here as we are just uh, pulling it okay and one of the tension will be acting here so this is the part of the tension we have in the string so we are just making the fbd of the first capital m is here so this is the fbd of we have capital m and we are just applying the capital f force is there and here we have uh, just tension just opposite to the capital f and here the system is moving along the direction of the applied force so we are just writing that m a the net force will be is a combination of the f minus of tension and easily we can write the meaning of the tension in this case that is t is equal to f minus of m a okay so this is the general uh, that means brief of, of we have okay so tension can be stated as f minus capital m a okay so this is the part of the tension or either someone is uh, saying that i i don't want to use this one formula so i am just making the suggestion he should apply the fbd uh, on the small mass m this is the small mass m we have this is the part of the tension we have and this one is also moving the concern of the same acceleration and uh, uh, opposite to the tension we don't have the any kind of the force so simply we can write that tension can be balanced with the concept of the ma so either you are using the t is equal to a small m into a or you are using the meaning of the t capital f minus capital m a so from the both the side you are just getting the same answer of the tension okay and uh, we can use the simply formula so i am just suggesting that uh, we have the two questions in the N in in the part of the ncrt that uh, question number uh, 15 and the 16 and uh, question number 15 based on the concept of the uh, connected motion of the two bodies by the string on a horizontal a smooth horizontal floor so we will use this one concept there and uh, connected motion of the body on the pulley we will use the question number 5.16 now we have the NCRT question number 15 two masses M1 and M2 uh, having the masses that 10 kilogram and 20 kilogram and they are attached uh, by a string on a floor in this manner that M1 and M2 and the, these are the A and the B and first we are just applying uh, this is the part of the NCRT that first we are just applying the force of 600 Newton to the B okay and uh, then after we are just applying the force to the A so what are the meaning of the tension we have and a tension in each case her case may have tension be but on a hip there's the uh, first problem we have and second problem we have that what is the common acceleration we have or the acceleration for system under force of 600 newton okay so we have already discussed uh, the general formula of the connected motion of the body okay so we will use the formula directly if the derivation is there so we will discuss the formula if we do if we have the numerical so we will use the direct uh, formula so we have the simple formula that is a is equal to capital f uh, mass of the two bodies okay so easily we can discuss the meaning of the acceleration is equal to the meaning of the force that is called the 600 newton and along with the two masses that sum of the two masses 10 and 20 okay so finalize we are just getting the meaning of uh, that is kilogram and finalize uh, we will get the answer that is if you are solving it 600 upon that is 30 and with the concern of the unit that meter per second is square so we are just solving it 
so we are just getting the meaning that 20 meter per second square is the common acceleration of the system so we, we can use the basic concept of the formula and uh, we are just uh, making the solution of the case a as we are just applying the force of the 600 newton so we can apply the simply the fbd and the whole system is moving with the acceleration in the right hand side direction so whenever we are just applying the fbd to the mass particle m2 and these are the parts of the tension we have so easily we know the uh, meaning uh, meaning that f can be state as uh, as sorry now the net acceleration net acceleration m2 a can be state as capital f minus of tension and the tension can be state as capital f minus m2 a so easily we are just applying the basic fundamental 600 newton minus what is the meaning of the m2 we have that is called the 20 and 20 so the total tension will be in the string if we are just applying the force on a side b so that is called the uh, 200 newton if you are just solving it so it makes the concept of the 200 newton okay in the first portion we have or either uh, you are just using the fbd for the mass particle m1 so how can you say that we are just using the direct formula that uh, by by use of m1 so we will get the same answer that how can we use it the tension is equal to m1 a so tension is equal to what is the mass of the first particle that is 10 and what is the acceleration that is 20 so it makes the concept of that 200 newton okay so this is the part of the 200 newton we have so we are just getting the same answer either whatever the formula you are using now we are just discussing the case b in which we are just applying the force to the particle a okay so meaning of the tension we have if you are just writing that uh, under the action of the force the whole system is moving in a left hand side direction so first we are using the concept of the fbd on the m1 so i am just writing that m1 a is equal to capital f minus tension and the tension is equal to capital f my mi minus m1 a okay so easily we can write that capital t is equal to force force the meaning of that 600 newton minus meaning of the mass that is 10 into 20 so it makes the concept of the 400 newton so this is the part of the tension we have on behalf of or either you are just saying that i don't want to i i, I am not interested to use the fbd of the m1 so i am using or the fbd of the m2 that tension is equal to m2 a so meaning of the m2 that is called the 20 and the meaning of the acceleration that is 20 so it although make the same answer that is 400 newton so we have used the uh, formula in the numerical okay now we will discuss the numerical number 16 now one of the question that is question number 16 two masses 8 kilogram and the 12 kilogram are connected at the two ends of a string find the net acceleration and the tension okay so already we have discussed the formula so we will apply it directly and uh, there is a formula that in front of you first we have the concept of the acceleration so the meaning of the acceleration can be state in the part of that g either you are using the 9.8 or the 10 uh, that will be available in the question for the simplicity i am just using the concept of the 10 is here the meaning of the capital mass that is called the 12 and minus a small m that is called the 8 and uh, in the denominator we have the sum of the two masses that 12 plus 8 so whenever we are just solving the meaning of the acceleration so uh, we are just getting uh, the 10 12 minus 8 is equal to 4 and 12 plus 8 is equal to 20 so we are just getting the estimated acceleration that is 2 meter per second square so this is the conceptual base problem we have on the connected uh, motion of a connected body and somehow we are just calculating the meaning of the tension so how can we discuss it so formula is there 2 small m capital M G upon m plus m so 2 into small m we have that is called the 8 capital M we have that that is 12 and the meaning of the G I am just taking for the concern of the simplicity that is 10 and generally we have to be discussed the 9.8 and the sum of the two masses that is 12 plus 8 is there so whenever we are just completely solving it so we are just getting the meaning of the tension uh, near about that is 96 newton 96 newton okay so these are the uh, two uh, problems of the mechanics 
and uh, that is available in our uh, book